Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to use colored pencils. Right here I got the Prismacolor, the 72 pack set, and um, I'm going to show you how to do that with colored pencils and with some Gamsol. So if you're not familiar with that, um, Gamsol spreads the color. I'm going to show you. It takes the wax and it kind of blends it out. This is kind of the best way I can describe it. And I'll show you, I'm going to use these blending stumps. There's all sizes. Um, so I'm going to think, I think I'm going to just stick with this one. And I'll show you what I mean by this. So I think I'll probably make this a pretty pink color. Let's see what I have. Or even maybe a nice blue. Um, let's see. This is a pretty blue. Let's do it a blue. Okay, I'll, and I'm going to show you what to do. So, um... I'm going to take all in here, and I'm just going to color all here very darkly, right, all in here. And then I'm going to take the Gamsol and my blending stump, which I put a little bit in this cup, and you're just going to dip it in here, not quick, and then start. Just let it, make sure it soaks up a little bit. And then you're going to get the color, and you're going to blend it outwards. So that in the middle it will be dark, and then outwards it will go from dark to light. So it will give you some shading. So I'm just going to take, like right here, see? And I'm going to just blend it out. And then I'll take this one. Blend it out. I'm using the Gina K Amalgam Ink. Where did I put it? Well, I'm using the amalgam ink because that one doesn't bleed out. You can also emboss it if you like. If you want to get your stamp and emboss it with some, if you want to heat set it, that'll keep it a little bit raised so the black won't run. Okay, and you're just going to like go over the darkest part and just draw it out. Same thing here. Go over the darkest. Draw it out to the tips. You could stop right here if you like a white tip, but I'm going to go all the way to the end. All right. And then let's do let's do a little bit here. And let's do a little bit in here. Um, the Gamsol also smooths out your colored pencil, so it's not a waxy kind of finish. It's just like a smooth, just like a marker. If you were to use Copic markers, which I have a bunch of Copics too, I can show you that too. I'm not a wit, I'm not a, I'm not an expert on coloring, but. Um, I can do it as far as making it look a little bit shaded and have some depth. And then if you want to go in a little bit more, like I want to go in just a little bit more in the middle here. And then I just want to draw it out a little bit.
And that is how you color with Gamzol in colored pencils. So you see how it's really dark in the middle and then it comes out lighter at the tip so it gives it some shading, some depth. Um, so I did this video too with um, the Zig markers. I did it with the Zig markers. I have a video on that. And now I just shown you with the colored pencils. And if you can see, it doesn't even really look like a colored pencil. It looks like a marker. There's no wax. It's not like a waxy type of finish on there. It just looks like a marker. So that's how you color with Prismacolor colored pencils and Gamzol. You could also do what? Uh, watercolor pencils but um, I just have these and that's what I've stuck to so I just wanted to show you a quick tip on that I hope you give it a try thanks for watching happy crafting and I'll catch you next time bye